Hello everyone, NecroVX here, and welcome back with more Blasphemous, and uh, we're gonna uh, do at least one more here. Okay, whoa, 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 chill, chill, relax, right? All right, now from here, yeah, okay. Oh, fuck your mother. You really didn't grab that? All right. I really hate those dripping things. I think I should be able to get through here, yep. Anoint yourself with the oil of the pilgrims? Who wouldn't? The maximum amount of fervor has been increased. Very cool. Now we go up this way. Of course. It's, it's so much damage, too, every time. Alright, we've done this, which is good, but now we're going to go past it. This should bring me kind of close to Albero, right? Yeah. Yeah, I looked up a map and it's like, it looks different, but I think they might have changed the mapping style between then and now, you know? Alright, yeah, so let's go up to Albero. Oh, hello. Grab the damn ladder. Really? Haven't done this yet. What are those little ones that seem to hide up in the ceilings amongst the ornaments of the altars? When I call them, they do not appear to pay me any mind. They are covered in ribbons that give the impression of fluttering in an invisible, imperceptible, con constant wind. At times I hear them cry, and at times I hear them laugh. What are you, O creatures of divine grace? All right. Here we are, Wasteland of the Buried Churches. All right. I'm stronger now, don't need to hit them that many times. Alright, so we're gonna go actually go kinda towards Mercy Dreams. Oh boy. Damn it, really? I'm back here now. <laughs> go figure. I think you're invincible when you're doing executions. Alright. I was a little sloppy, but I got it. Gotta do this, right? We're not going to Mercy Dreams, we're just going near it. So, you know. Now, let me take care of this guy first. Take care of all these guys first. Alright. Okay, cool. Oh, 
Oh, I thought I'd kill it before it got me. God, I should have saved while I was there, but I didn't. All right. In the town. I don't know why I didn't think of that. All right, we have Tentudia's carnal remains. Remains of the murdered novice Tentu Tentudia that were isolated from the rest so she could not receive a holy burial. Who was Tentudia, you ask? Well, she was once a girl born in the same yellowish village in Albero, like you and me. On her 15th year, something extremely unusual happened. Her parents watched as part of her hair began twisting, unavoidably turning into very th thin thorns. Concerned with the thought that it might be a punishment from the miracle, they locked her as a novice inside distant nunnery, famous for its strict cloistering, thus preventing the discoveries of what would have undoubtedly been considered heresy. Alright. Backtrack a bit. Oh, okay. No, oh, here's this guy. Let's talk to him. On the path lies the solace and the life. Prithee, heed my prayers. O Lord of the bare feet, oh, forgive me, penitent one. Without my knowing, amidst prayers, our roles and faults become intertwined once more. What can I do to avoid the difficulties that the miracle layeth in front of my bare feet? Alright, so we're going to make a path for him, basically. It shouldn't be too bad. Hold on, let me do this. Being able to see down there is okay. I'll start here. Ugh. I figured that would hit him a bunch of times with where he was, you know. All right, now we'll talk to this dude. If you can jump over the thorns, yeah. We got a little toe made of limestone. Toe from the statue of the first barefoot pilgrim. The vestigial little toe pushed the stones out of his path, increases dodging distance. The master grand gathered us all together like every morning and said a genuine genuflecting pilgrim must never divert their eyes from the earth they walk on. For this is our rule. Okay. Uh, I think before I go any further, I'm going to go back to El Barrow and save heal because my flasks are all empty and I haven't done that in a while. And I fear that if I get killed, you know, it's, it's going to put me like really far back. And oh, God damn it. I wasn't trying to grab that ledge. And it's really not that far back, you know? As long as I don't get killed here, right? <laughs> Which happened twice in the last video. Okay, cool. Yeah, the fact that I passed through here and didn't use the save point is kind of wacky on my part. It's only ever so slightly out of my way, you know?
There's a dog. Fantastic. Can't pet the dog in this one, but, you know. Invincible during it, but sometimes you come out of it about to get nailed, you know? It kind of sucks. Just drop down. Why won't he drop down? So weird. Oop. Oh, he swung fast. Hmm. Screw you, sir. Damn it. the full four-hit combo. We're not yet where I can do that. All right. So now I'm going to go up this way. We haven't bothered to do this yet. Screw you. All right. That's where we're going. Kind of sucky, but that's what we're doing. And here we go. Heart of Virtuous Pain. Sword Core, blessed with defensive prayers, can be inserted into Mea Culpa. Boost the blocking stance, increasing its duration, but exposes the penitent one longer to enemy attacks. The works and graces of the Sorrowful Miracle second verse. The wind blew strongly through the fractures of the cathedral that the great tree had originated, lifting the ash, creating dense gray clouds, hiding the whole mother church, and drowning her in deep darkness of lead. The ground began to tremble. Then a terrible cry was heard from the depths the depth try that again. From the depths of the mountain of ash. That's where the ending was, the mountain of ash, I remember that. Well the bad ending at least. And that cry was joined by more and more guttural screams, animal roars, monsters, and one which was heard above all, the scream of an old man which resounded gravely, as of the throat of a giant. Damn, really? I gotta wait till he's a little lower. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Wait. No, we gotta go this way. Ooh, careful. All right, we're good. I remember this is one of the first areas I went to. I was so unprepared for where olive trees wither, you know. All right. Like, I wound up doing this, like, way early, and it's like, oh, I shouldn't have done this so early. So, I feel myself weakening. I am sentenced to perish, to man in this forth forceful praying position. I can no longer hear the rest. Only the rusted cage is swaying in the wind. So yeah, it was it was not smart for me to do this early, but I didn't know, you know. Oh, hello. There we go. The radius of Helzer the poet. The work of the poet John Clark Helzer had a sadly posthumous success, especially his poem to the Red Leaf. The poem was found next to his corpse, severed by a fallen tree. Ugh. Here we 
huh? Contrite and humiliated be the heart, penitent one in silence. You stand before what remains of Gemino. Oh, do not fret for me. The cold is merciful, for it relieves our pain and numbs us before it leads us to our deaths. Perhaps the miracle the others spoke of has come to me. Here, in this iron tomb, lengthening in distress more and more. To a promised land you direct your march, to the place where the frozen and the burning embrace in communion. Let me ask of you the favor of bringing me a few drops of the oils that once came out of these icy olive trees, the ones that ended up scorching the faces of every pious person who ever reached the summit. As my last wish, before it is too late for me, let me feel that pain. Take this. Now we've got the empty golden thimble. We get the olive from the top of the mountain. Bring it to him. something incense garlic bulb white as bone very hard to find its intense aroma reminiscent of sandalwood is only noticeable on rainy days betraying its hidden pl hiding place it was sought after by the herbalists with best sense of smell for its miraculous properties confessions of terso part six ever since then our pious kisses have saved hundreds from the affection of the miracle that ravages these lands. And from then on, our congregation has been called that of the Kissers of Wounds. Oh, hello. Don't be doing that. Dick. Huh. Alright, these guys. Ugh. God. Watch out. Gotta heal. Damn. Ah, oh, oh, damn. That sucks. At least I wasn't that far back, right? Yeah, right here. Oh, what? Okay. Way to not uh, do the thing. Penitent one. What's up? It's me, Brad. The penitent one.
my guilt. Damn, that caught me there. Bitch. Okay. Graveyard of the Pearls. I don't think I should be here yet, actually. Oh, I'm supposed to go here, maybe. Yeah, this is where we need to be. Come on. Okay. No! Damn it! Oh, I didn't realize I was that low. I was about to try to get away and heal, but I thought ah, I could take a net hit. But I couldn't. At this point, I'm probably just going to go till the next save point. Plenty of tears. Oh, God. on bikes, y'all. Whoop. Whoop. Yep, up we go. And then down we go. At least there's no fall damage. So, oh boy. Which way to go? All right. Interesting. I got one. Ah, oh, fuck. I was going to use another one anyway, but come on. Jesus Christ. All right. Okay. Got this. Remains of Tentudia's hair. Remain of the thorned hairs of the novice Tentudia that were isolated from the rest so she could not receive a holy burial. Tentudia spent several years in that nunnery, and as she grew up it became harder and harder to hide her hair. It wouldn't stop twisting and growing thorns, and the blood from the wounds it caused her did not take long to stay in her pure white habit. 
The nuns, upon realizing, were frightened by it and soon began considering her cursed and a heretic, just as the parents of the girl had feared would happen. So why did you send her to a nunnery? I mean, come on, think about that just a little bit, right? Think about that. What sense does that make? What goddamn sense? Now we go to Graveyard of the Peaks. Alright. Alright. Ankle bone of Weston the Pilgrim. His traveling companion assured him that he would wait for him at the next shelter, just a day away. When Weston arrived the next day, there was no one there, nor the day after that. Ah. But hold on. Well, I'm going to do that, but hold on. There should be a shop here. Yep. Miracle, penitent one. All right. What I am offering you here is as lustrous as the first star of the night. And may my eyes be torn bridal ribbon. We need this. This soft white ribbon, used during the marriage ceremonies, has been torn, thus destroying its delicate embroideries. One of the three remains of an unfinished ceremony. The wounds inflicted by a broken oath rarely ever find healing. Get that for eight hundred. What I am offering you here is as lustrous as the fat man. No, shut up. I Say the same. Calcified eye of erudition. I can afford this. Eyeball belonging to Alvarez the scribe who glimpsed the truth hidden to so many other eyes. Its strong scudding reveals the vital essence of enemies. I just realized I didn't look at the lore for that other one. Let me do that. Number one. Yes, brother. It is a long time since I stopped officiating nuptials, since the day those three sisters embraced each other, praying, since the day they asked the miracle itself to help them to avoid such a holy lo bond. Right, now I'll get this. Alright, so we want this. It shows health bars of the enemies. Uh, what am I going to... Well, let's look at the war. His body was immobilized, and amid cries of repentance, his skin began to turn whiter and whiter until it finally became limestone. As he was about to become a complete statue, in a final sigh, his tears softened one of his eyes that he managed to separate himself from the rest of his body by falling to the ground. Then we discreetly moved her rigid body of lime from her cell to the lower parts of the ar the architect the architect hmm. Arca cathedral architect Arca Cathedral, I guess. There's no H there. Along with the other forbidden statues. We put a wide loom over her so that no one else would know that under her wound, under her would sleep. Punished by the miracle, the great scribe. Yeah, uh... I'll take that off, I guess. This is a precious treasure to me. Its value goes far Probably can't afford this. I ask for it. And may I don morning black if I'm trying to deceive you? Ember of the Holy Cremation, that's 5,000. I'll read it, but I can't get it right now. Ember crystallized through a long-forgotten ritual. It retains some of the heat of a bonfire lit on, different la on a different land. Tempers the heart, increasing defenses of whoever carries it. I can't quite get that. Oh, all right. I always do that. Alright. So it's actually really good timing that we're just about at a half hour anyway. So I'm going to stop right here. I will see you guys real soon with more Blasphemous.